uh, you know, I, I'm an artist. That's that's what I do. Uh, art or music. I I can't a. Uh, I can't express myself any other way. Really, you know, I I I'm not um, I'm not trying to be thrown by by doing that. Do you know, what I mean, I could have. I, I probably would still be in the civil service. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it just wasn't for me. And, and I knew that going to art school would lead to far a far more interesting life for me. And it has. I remember when I was at school, I loved the artwork that uh, Roger Dean did for the covers for Yes and and stuff like that. So when I was at school, I was in kind of like fantasy art, which is kind of like what all kind of, sort of younger folk get into. Um, and then I just kind of progressed from there. Um, I, I, I'm not. I've never been a big fan of authority. And it seemed to be quite a kind of a sort of disciplinarian regime. Uh, my my school days. Obviously, I'm of a, of that kind of a age group that we still had corporal punishment and stuff like that. Not that I'm, I'm blaming anything on that, but you know, it, it was. It seemed that the, the punishment didn't always fit the crime. And my mum and dad, I love them to bits, but uh, if we're going to be honest, it was quite an authoritarian regime we were brought up it was very strict and quite disciplinarian I could never understand that kind of approach ever and I still don't to this day understand why people have got to be shouted at and coerced eventually they 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 they, they, uh, they got used to the idea I do remember that, that actually absolutely concurrently with getting a place at the art school I got a job at uh, Bridgeton uh, Social Security office and uh, I announced at the dinner table that I was going to art school as opposed to going to this job in the civil service. Um, that that didn't go down so well. Uh, but ah, they, they, they just get used to the idea because that, that, the thing is, that that's, that's what I am. I, I could have made a hell of a lot more at, at art school, but I, was, I wanted to be a rock star. Let's face it. Um, I, 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 I'm more interested in art now and making... I could have made a hell of a lot more of art school. I, I spent far too much time down in the Griffin with my mates. Um, I, I, the art school for me was all about uh, music, alcohol and sex, not necessarily in that order. And basically, it kind of fell apart in, in, in a lot of ways and I, I joined... or I was, I was auditioned for a band called The Big Dish. So... Uh, and a job which I, which I got and I, that went on for another six years I wasn't seeing my my wife at the time as much as I ought to have been because of my work and stuff and s certain circumstances arose <clears throat> um, within that, that that caused me a lot of worry and quite a lot of pain as well um, so in order to alleviate that pain and worry I drank more towards the end of 1990 1991 everything collapsed we, we lost a record deal my marriage went to the wall uh, and, and f at that point that's when it really got serious uh, because I was using alcohol as pain relief but, but you know, I I can't I I must I was I was looking for that kind of life at that point in time. I must have been because I thought it, it, things are so wild at the moment. Why shouldn't they get wilder? I just want it to be absolutely wild. I want it to be unpredictable, and all these sort of things. I want to be unpredictable. I want to be. Um, it was almost a kind of it's it's a ridiculous kind of romantic sort of. Ernest Hemingway, mad bohemian lunatic. It always seems much more um, attractive on paper than it is actually a live it, because it was hell on earth, literally. One of the problems that I had was the fact that I was extremely cynical about everything after, you know, the event of my 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 marriage breaking down, because I, I I've, I've got a young son at this point. I've got an old son now, <laughs> but no, I, I, it's uh, the the 
the difficulty was is in was in me as well. I I became so hardened and cynical to, towards things that I, I couldn't see that you know not only was I destroying myself but I was actually destroying the people round about me as well. And I I didn't understand that. I wasn't I wasn't to understand that at that point in time. But what what it did was it deepened my hatred of anything that appeared to be authoritarian. I I got into a recovery. In on August fourteenth, two thousand and six, um, and I've never looked back. No, it's I actually it's quite funny because I started drawing again purely to see if I could hold my hand steady. You know, nowadays because of my uh, sobriety, if you like, and because of and because of my recovery, I'm much more grateful for it. And, and I, that's what I find is is the, the key to what. I'm doing is my gratitude for it, rather than thinking that somehow it's my uh, God-given right to be doing what I want to do. You know, I, I just uh, I'm thankful for the the ability. It's it's certainly uh, it's certainly deepened um, in terms of my the, the the journey that I'm on artistically. I, I, it's it's difficult for me to say because I, I'm, I'm in the middle of it. Um, it becomes more, like not more complex, it just becomes more involved. I have a book there, um, an exhibition that I went to see uh, with um, Turner, Moni and Twombly. Uh, my girlfriend and I went to see the exhibition in, in Liverpool, Liverpool Tate last year and it, it absolutely blew my mind three totally different painters but similar in so many ways and they're a massive three massive influences on my work I never thought I would ever see that collection of paintings together but I did there's another thing I can thank my recovery for you know my girlfriend as well <laughs> see that that's, that's it. Private points will feel hard to just that. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>